One of the news that has really been trending is the implementation of the free SHS and this was announced by President Ekufado during the weekend. Now, issues have come up, concerns have been raised. Is it about quality? Should government go ahead to pay the fees while parents don't? Or government should rather invest that chunk of money into into SHS education. This afternoon, my colleague Martin Isidudate has some statistics and breakdown or looking at the boarding SHS and also day students and what this will involve. So Martin, good yes. afternoon. Thank you very and, much. And Randy. one thing that has come up strong is that the Minister of Education, Matthew Pokopempe, has stated that despite the economic challenges, government will find the money to implement this. Now, what do you have for us? This I, I think that uh, what the, the education minister has said, it's a promise that they are hoping to deliver. And the president was also clear when he said that they're going to be looking at the natural resources mm -hmm. and the revenue they're going to be getting from it is what they'll be investing into uh, the free education policy they have mentioned. But what we are going to do this afternoon is to just take a look at the 2016-2017 academic year and then look at the cost component and break it down. The president was categorical when he mentioned the things that are going to be free. Mm. Now, the quest one question that is standing out is, are we going to maintain what was free under press former President Mahama and then add the two new things the president has mentioned, or he is now going to uh, keep or pick a few of the old free items and then add new ones. Those are okay. some of the dynamics we're going to be looking so now, at. Before, this before you start, we have the soundbite of the president, like Martin mentioned, clearly stating what will be free. Free SHS will mean that in addition to tuition, which is already free, there will be no admission fees, no library fees. No science center fees, no computer lab fees, no examination fees, no utility fees. There will be free textbooks, free boarding, and free meals. All right, so Martin, we did clearly hear the president outline what will be free. So yes. Take it away, tell us what exactly you have okay. for us this afternoon. So we are uh, looking at the components that the president has mentioned. Uh, we are just going to be focusing mainly on some of them. From the 2016-2017 academic year, we know clearly that under the former uh, government, that's uh, President Mahama's government, they said their academic system was going to be progressively free. So, and don't forget that the president was also clear that it is for first term first and that is when you qualify or you, 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 you pass JSS and you are going into the secondary school for the first term. That is when the free progressive or free total free under MPP is going to be uh, affecting you. So these are the components that we have. Under former President uh, Mahama, boarding students, these were the amounts they were paying. The current amount they are paying is 1,022 Ghana cities and government absorbed 58 Ghana cities out of that amount. That brings the total amount to 1,080 Ghana cities. And this includes some approved fees because some secondary schools have cadet course, some have, you know, some other costs that government was, um, had approved. So they were taking care of it. And this is for second and third term. It means that after the first term, when you have the freebies from government, Parents are still going to be we're paying 487 Ghana cities as term fees for the second and third term. Let's go on to specifics. This is for day students. Day students, the existing and the new ones that the president, the current president has mentioned. The former administration absorbed 54 Ghana cities. And Nana Kufado mentioned that admission fees, which was not absorbed in the former government's uh, policy, and textbooks are going to be free. So if you add this to that Nana Kufado has mentioned, that he's going to be adding to that is if he maintains former President Mohammed's 54 and adds his own 65. We are going to be looking at these figures over here. Now that is going to show that the old administration under former President uh, Mahama, what government absorbed was 560. And that was what parents were not paying. And then under uh, President Akufado, parents have also going to be relieved of some 441 Ghana cities. So that is an improvement on the figures. Let's go on to 
boarding students because there were clear differences. Nana Kufado was categorical to say that boarding is going to be free. And of the 200 schools and more that uh, the former government promised to build, of which they built well over 100, the uh, current administration says they are going to be adding boarding facilities to some of them. So when you are going in as a boarding student, some of the freebies you are going to be enjoying include feeding. Nana Kufado mentioned it. Then uh, boarding, he mentioned, we don't know how much it is going to cost and how much they are going to take. So yes, he says he's, he's going to absorb boarding. They are going to absorb textbooks. And uh, we also know that tuition is unknown. And tuition has been free from time immemorial. So all these freebies that are going to be taken out or absorbed by the administration means that if parents were paying 1022 under former President uh, Mohammed's government, now the amount they are going to be paying is way less so it means that the free really is quite free under the current uh, government. That is, if they are able to implement it according to the promises they have made. Let's look at uh, those that, unfortunately, have, have taken us two, three steps back. So, but it, it clearly tells you that the debate from whether progressively free or entirely free still stands. And if the government is going to go according to the policies they have promised us, there's the certainty that in the next few days, or as in September where he promised that it's going to start, we are likely to see some improvement in the education quality. And uh, for day students, so what I talked about was for boarding students. Day students. Day students, we know already that boarding doesn't affect them. And then also textbooks, government is absorbing. Uh, feeding, government is absorbing. Science lab uh, and then ICT, the current administration says that they are going to carry all the... This amount was what the former administration was taking, the 90 Ghana cities. The current administration is going to be absorbing about 524 Ghana cities. That is a hoping amount. And it brings a total of the one, uh, of the less than 1,000 Ghana cities that parents were paying to probably about half. So the amount they are going to be taking is much lesser. And for body, this is a further breakdown, a further breakdown of that amount. The current administration is saying that if they don't uh, they don't make the things that were free under former government, and they are going to take their own free items, which you mentioned examination fees, utilities, ICT, and then also the supplementary books and textbooks. Then it means that they are going to be absorbing about 459.20 Ghana cities. And that amount, if you break it down, you're it includes the uh, admission fees and then textbooks, which will mean that now parents who were ordinarily would have paid about 1,022 under the former administration. When the free SHS under uh, Akufado starts, this is what boarding students are going to be paying. That's about half of the amount. So if your child is going to boarding school, you don't have to worry about this 1,000 uh, fee. You are looking at just about half of that amount. So these are just a few of the figures we are looking at. We are just looking at the numbers and trying to break it down so that parents can also do their own calculations at home before they take their awards to, uh, to school. Interestingly, government is still kind of quiet, they are yet to come out to speak to us to tell us a further breakdown. So what we are doing is to look at the 2016-2017 academic year, the total number of students or people that are admitted and how much they have paid over time. And then we have just done a few calculations for you. When government comes out and gives us a further breakdown of how they intend to implement which, how they are even going to target and who would they define as needy pupils who will need this intervention we will bring those breakdowns to you as well. So that's it uh, from our little corner of uh, analysis on the free senior high school under uh, the current administration. Stay with us. Uh, there's more to come on Midday Life. So Wendy, mm. thank you for allowing me to go back <laughs> to secondary school and uh, over to you. I'm sure we've on. learned a lot from you and parents who are watching at home or yes, wherever yes, they are yes, yes, in the offices yes. would have some form of understanding while we still wait for government. Yes, to come out. On Absolutely. This. Thank mm. you very much, Wendy. You're welcome, Martin. All right. Now,